House Judiciary Committee is planning its first hearing next week on what it's calling the Biden border crisis. I wanted to see if you have a reaction to that. And also, can you talk a little bit about the White, how the White House is preparing for all of these investigations that the House Republicans are planning? So look, uh, this is something my colleagues at the White House uh, Council has been uh, dealing with and, and responding to uh, the committee. And uh, I mean, look, I've said this before, I've, and I'll say it again. Uh, you know, during the midterms, uh, you, we've heard from uh, congressional members, Republicans in particular, that their focus was going to be on lowering costs for the American people, dealing with inflation, which is something the president has been doing uh, for the last uh, for the last two years. And in on brand, uh, they decided to do the opposite of that, to not deal with inflation, to not work with us in a bipartisan way, uh, to continue to to, uh, to really truly work uh, for the American people. That's what. Uh, we are seeing. Uh, my colleagues have said this before. I'll repeat what they have said. We are uh, we are you know willing to work with uh, with the uh, with the committee in a good faith uh, fashion. Uh, but again, it has to be in a good faith uh, fashion, and uh, and certainly talk about uh, items or or talk talking about uh, uh, anything that that is uh, in pertinent uh, that is appropriate. Uh, but again, in a good faith fashion, uh, and so I'm not going to get ahead of uh, of what my white my White House counsel colleagues have said. Uh, but again, this is uh, you know, this is uh, they are doing the complete opposite of what they said that they would do uh, during the midterms. And we have to remember the the, uh, the American people spoke very very clearly on what they wanted to see. They wanted to see Republicans and Democrats work together to deal with the issues that truly matter uh, to them. Thank you. um, you've announced some of these day trips that the president's going to be doing over the next week and a half. Obviously, in less than two weeks, the president will be doing the State of the Union. Has he started preparations for that speech? And is there anything you could tell us about that overall message that we might hear from him? That so night? we'll have more details on the State of the Union. I can say this is uh, uh, the State of the Union. This is something that the president takes very seriously, and he knows this is an opportunity not just to talk to. Uh, the congressional members that will be in front of him, but also the American people, and talk about the successes of the last two years and how he sees his vision uh, in the next uh, in the next year, especially as we go into further into 2023. So he sees this as an important opportunity uh, to talk about how we're lowering costs for the American people. What else are we going to do uh, to make sure we deliver what he promised? Right, an economy uh, that's built from the bottom up and the middle out. Uh, what else or how else can we work in a bipartisan way? Don't want to get too far into uh, into what he was he's going to say. Clearly, we'll have more to share. But this is uh, an important. He sees this as an, as an important moment, uh, not just for him, but for the American people to hear directly uh, from the President of the United States.